Hey everyone, this is Danielle again with Ultimate Creative, and I'm here with another Ultimate Creative chat, this time with Christian Sargent from Vicky Cakes Pancake and Waffle Mix. She is going to tell us all about how she got started and what she has uh, been doing over the last few years since Vicky Cakes came into existence. Uh, thank you so much, Christian, for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited for the opportunity to share more about what I do and what has been created with your audience. Absolutely. We are very honored to have you. I have actually had Vicky Cakes pancakes, guys, and they are the bomb. I am someone who <laughs> I pride myself <laughs> on making everything from scratch. Um, I try mm -hmm. not to buy things out of the box at all if I can, um, you know, if I can avoid it. But um, with Vicky Cakes, I've been able to actually cut my cooking time and they actually taste a lot like my own pancakes that I make from scratch. So I can definitely get behind <laughs> those. <laughs> my family was very happy with the outcome. So um, you might want to give them a try. So um, Vicky, um, Vicky is not your name, is it? Who is Vicky? No, but it's Let's okay. Let's start there. Vicky. <laughs> Let's start with that story. Um, Vicky is my mother. So I am the youngest of four. Mm -hmm. She is from Cleveland, Mississippi, and she moved to the Gary, Indiana area at 19 after high school. And uh, she would go on to get married to my father and have my three older siblings, and I would come along, and they got divorced when I was two. So okay. at that age and at that state in life, she was a single mom of four, and there was no disposable, expendable income, right? But those Southern roots, you know, everything that she grew up cooking, knowing how to do and mixing things together and making something out of little of nothing came in handy with this pancake mix recipe. Um, it's 40 years in the making. She perfected it while, I mean, before I was born, I'm only 33. So she perfected this way before I came along. Um, and it's one of those staples that we found ourselves at the table eating for so long like okay. it's really the glue that holds it all together for us and so that's who Vicky is and that's what inspired Vicky Cakes okay wow and I'm sure people call you Vicky all the time and not knowing that is the story <laughs> Vicky is yes. your mom and yeah. um I that is such a, a wonderful way to honor her I know that uh I'm sure that she is pleased with that and is uh yes. you know I'm sure that that's an honor. <laughs> yes, it is. It is. She's definitely grateful and excited about it. So yeah. it's, it's a good feeling. Awesome. Well, when when did Vicky Cakes actually come to the market? So we launched Vicky Cakes in 2019 on Mother's Day in May. Um, my husband actually came up with the idea in 2013 around mm. the Thanksgiving uh, breakfast table when we were in Indiana visiting her. He didn't even know anything about the pancake mix recipe. I've had it since I was like 19. She gave the recipe to me when I was 19 years old. And I got married at 21, but I was 21 and not trying to cook anything from scratch. <laughs> okay, gotcha. <laughs> so, so that recipe didn't mean anything to me then because I was young and that really wasn't my mindset. So I was still using Bisquick and I was doctoring it up to make it taste like hers. That's right. the crazy thing about it. Yeah. So it was like, girl, why didn't you just use the recipe? <laughs> um, <laughs> but that's when we launched the company in 2019. And it was definitely to always be like an honor and a gift to her. That mm -hmm. on this day, this is something that you can always remember and know that it exists because of our love and appreciation for you and what you created. Wow, that's beautiful. So yeah, I know. Thank you. Yes, I know that your recipe is. Um, you pride the, the recipe for being something that is safe, pretty much for everyone yes. to be able to eat. Can you tell us a little mm -hmm. bit about that? Absolutely. So we are a dairy-free, soy-free. A preservative free, artificial free ingredient uh, product. Our pancake okay. and waffle mixes do not include any artificial ingredients or soy. And that's because it's your, it's your everyday basic staples, right? Mm -hmm. But they're perfectly measured out. And we could have gone the dairy route where it was add water only, but in our desire, specifically my desire to keep it as authentic to what my mother made for us as possible, Mm -hmm. I like you're taking a big risk when you come to market with something when there's so many 
of another type already out there, right? Yeah. Everybody loves at water only. Well, everybody uses at water only. But there's so much inconsistency in that model. Like people are always doctoring it up. You're mm -hmm. adding more bad, more mix, trying to get it right to the water. You adding milk instead of water. You add vanilla flavor to give it more. And so it's like, why not just give you guys the perfect combination of it all mm -hmm. um, without adding the junk to it and making it something that everybody, no matter what their dietary lifestyle may be, if they're vegan, add your almond milk, right? Add your, your soy milk, your coconut milk. And if you're not vegan, add your buttermilk and your regular milk or your 2% or your skim. So mm -hmm. everybody at the table can enjoy this recipe for that purpose. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah. So are you in any stores now or, you know, what, what kinds of things yeah. have happened as a result of this brand, you know, coming to market a few years ago? Uh, so much has happened. <laughs> so like most black owned businesses, 2020 was a huge year of growth and success for us. Um, yeah. We were featured by Good Morning America last year in 2020 and that was a very welcome surprise and a scale for our business. The year prior, we had sold a little bit over um, a couple of thousand bags of products. And then in one day from that national feature, we sold over 154,000 bags of products. Oh um, and so you go from working in your kitchen, right, <laughs> into needing a whole manufacturing facility. Like, how do you make that happen? Wow. And so from there, we've been able to literally have you know, retailers that we've been able to secure, we're locate, well, we're available in 156 Jewel Osco stores, which is in the Midwest, where I'm from, okay. um, which is such an honor and a privilege to be the first Black-owned pancake mix to make it into major retail. Yes. So while there are other Black-owned pancake mix brands, we're the first to get a retail, a major retail deal. Um, awesome. And I think that it's amazing. It's just... <laughs> so great and we're available in a, a number of small format grocery stores so some of your smaller stores that aren't exactly your big chains have picked our products up as well across the u.s about 35 plus you know stores also so you get a nice round figure between 180 to 200 uh that we're in total right now looking to expand in 2022 oh wow so what was that journey like um going from basically being available online correct mm -hmm. yeah to then you know being able to be in those um grocery stores what was the process like that you had to go through to actually get in those stores because I don't think mm -hmm. people realize what's involved there yeah so it really comes down to the bottom line right like knowing your numbers knowing what price works for you as far as your cost to produce your your cost to manufacture your cost to ship all of those bottom line numbers is what we had to like really hone in on and have an understanding of and then building relationships you can do that through networking yourself by representing yourself and finding and sourcing these brokers well not these brokers but the uh category of mm -hmm. buyers so everything that you see in a grocery store has a person over that category, right? So your fresh section with fresh food, your section, your bakery, your, um, your middle aisle grocery store, those all have their own individual buyers and people okay. review products at certain points in the year to see what they want to take in, like what they want to bring in. And they want to know that this will be a good fit for what they represent and will also bring the traffic in. Um, and with us, we were, we've been like really fortunate to have quite a few brokers reach out to us to want to represent us and get us into retail. But again, it's about that relationship piece, like you knowing the product yourself as the creator and then understanding the relationship that you want to have with the person representing you mm -hmm. because I'm not on calls with category buyers, right? Mm -hmm. Like sometimes we're on some of those calls but we're not, and you have to be able to trust the person representing you, that they're going to tell the right parts of your story, that they're going to know what they need to know, whether they have a sales sheet in front of them or not, um, right. and make those connections and really represent you well and with honor. And so we scored greatly with that, with having a great broker that does that for us, that represents us and gets us into retail and in front of some buyers. And then from there, it goes into the process part. Like, do you have your processes in place mm -hmm. to manufacture when purchase orders come through? Um, and that's why it's so good that we were uh, forward thinking after the Good Morning America feature and you take in that amount of money 
you want to leverage that. You don't want to take that and then just start living it up, taking trips. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like doing all this stuff. Invest that money. <laughs> yes. Back into the business. Exactly. And we did. We opened our own manufacturing facility. So we don't have a co We manufacture our own products in our, in our manufacturing plant and warehouse in the DFW area. And um, it's beautiful because when now when people come to us, they're like, hey, we can send a truck to pick it up on pallets and you mm-hmm. just go through the learning experiences of it all. So that's how we prepared ourselves for it, really leveraging and building relationships and being ready for all opportunities as they come. OK, great. So the the type of professional that you want to link up with, if um, for those who are watching now and are new to this and don't really understand how everything works, they need to look for a broker if they mm-hmm. want to connect with those stores and get their Correct. get their things in them. OK, yeah, yeah. Definitely. And I mean, it's, it's good representation. There is a cost associated with it. Normally, you'll have some brokers that want you to pay them a monthly retainer in order to pitch you to brands. We went that route early on when we first started in 2019. We had a broker agreement for like six months and we were paying a monthly retainer. I'll never do that again okay. um, because I'm now of the mindset that everybody that works and represents Vicky Cakes, just like we work and represent us, you have to be bringing something to the table. Mm-hmm. And so if you're doing your job as a broker and you have these great relationships already, if you close these deals, you deserve a percentage of what it is that we you know, receive. Okay. And that makes everybody equally vested in seeing the success and the growth of it. So I can't say that if I'm paying you $2,500 a month, I don't know how many calls you really made, right? I don't yeah. know how many brokers really responded to you or you actually got me in front of. And I'm getting that money out of my small business on your word. I'd right. rather give it to you on this deal. Let me see it. Okay. So okay. it's real Jerry Maguire-ish around here. Show me the money. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I fully understand that. I fully yeah. understand. Well, what are some of the lessons that you've learned um, since you have started? Let's say if you could go back and talk to yourself at the beginning of the process, um, mm-hmm. Kristen from three years ago, what would you tell her? Oh man, to, let's see. I think that I would, I would definitely tell myself then what I know now, um, every, every little obstacle actually is like a setup for like bigger coming because in those little times when things seem like very shaky very uncertain this ain't working right like I shouldn't have you know taken this leap or this step it has always been right before something huge came okay. next. um there was literally there have literally been times where um I didn't have enough ingredients like just at the top of last year when the pandemic started I thought that our business was going to be safe because I'm like don't nobody need flour and sugar ain't nobody gonna be messing with that in the stores and I went from being able to go and grab what I needed to make the bags for the small orders we were getting at the time to like literally being at home one day with over 30 orders in queue and one four pound bag of flour right and Mm -hmm. not knowing that that would be my March reality and by June I would be on national tv and so those little things that you learn how to process inside before you blow up and go you know out of it all in your mind stay out Mm. of your head and just stay prepared because that is just positioning you to figure out a solution so when it really the floodgates really open there is no sweating right there's no sweating there's only action and there's only success ahead Wow, that's a beautiful lesson. Um, you know, it's it's really easy to get down on yourself and feel, mm-hmm. um, you know, just really get in a bad place when it comes yeah. to those, I won't say failures, but those little mm-hmm. things that happen every now and then in business. Um, but I hear you say that we need to actually be encouraged and yes not dwell on them, but realize there's something good coming right around the corner. Yes. Yes. Just allow it and Mm. be ready for it when it shows up. That's all you can do. (laughs) Awesome. And you know, it's just like in life, you have to just learn from your mistakes, learn from if if there was something that was, that you did on your part to contribute Mm -hmm. to that. Okay. Now I have to learn that lesson 
and yeah. get over that and move on. Not that you've yeah. forgotten about it or anything like that, but um, you're able to move on because you can't grow, you know, being mm-hmm. stuck in that place. That's right. Absolutely correct. Yeah. Okay. Well, what is one practical piece of advice that you have for uh, the up and coming female entrepreneur? Yes. Show up as your authentic self. Mm. That is uh, a huge, huge, huge pet peeve of mine. Nothing about the way that we emerged into this market was done by the traditional standard. Nothing about how we continue to grow and scale and show up as our authentic selves online and media um, on these national platforms is inauthentic. Uh, Our product is literally in the position that it's in because the foundation was for me to replace something that was inauthentic in the market, right? I knew that there was another brand perpetrating um, an image that wasn't authentic. And I made that weakness Vicky Mm -hmm. Cake's strength. And so yes. by doing that, I know that we don't have to sell ourselves short by trying to be something else. Just be who we are, be who you are, mm-hmm. do what you've come to do, be the disruptor in the market that you like put your flag down in. And people are going to always appreciate that. They're going to connect with that the most. And that's what's going to keep them coming back because they will always be able to see themselves and what it is you're creating in your journey. Awesome. That is beautiful advice. Uh, And I would say sage wisdom (laughs) to just be (laughs) yourself. Don't try to be these other companies. Um, We talked Mm -hmm. about in a previous episode from December that, you know, you can't worry about what other companies are doing. You see them on social, Mm -hmm. you see their wins. You don't always Mm -hmm. see the fails or the the Mm -hmm. misses you know, um, Mm -hmm. those missed opportunities, they're not going to tell you about all of that, but you'll see their successes. Don't think they don't fail sometimes or trip Mm -hmm. up on themselves and uh, make some some errors or have things happen to them that Mm -hmm. they have no control over. Absolutely correct. Yeah, Yeah. it happens to us all. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) (laughs) So hopefully this is encouraging for someone. I hope you guys took some notes. Because, I mean, she dropped some gems for sure. So, um, Christian, I just want to thank you again for coming and speaking with us today. Is there, I'll, I'll let you have the last word if there's anything else you want to uh, say to the audience. Thank you so much for having me. We would appreciate, you know, if you all follow, support, spread the word about all that we're doing. And even if you don't eat pancakes, give us a try. We have changed many <laughs> non-pancake eaters okay. into, <laughs> into pancake lovers. All right. We all, we all, we all about that conversion. Oh, so yeah. uh, we, we definitely appreciate the opportunity to share the story. And we hope the most success and growth for you and all that you're doing and how you're, you know, empowering other people with information and resources. So. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. And please, again, tell us where they can find you on social and how they can get to the website. Oh, for sure. So we are Vicky Cakes Pancake Mix on Instagram and we're Vicky Cakes Pancake Mix on Facebook. And you can also follow us on Twitter at Vicky Cakes 007 or <laughs> VickyCakesOnline.com. And that's where you can grab our product. You can find the location map for where we are in store and just stay up to date about all of the great things that's to come. All right. Well, thank you all very much for joining us. Again, I'm Danielle Rosser with Ultimate Creative. I'm a communications consultant and publicist. So uh, you can get in touch with me at the link below for more information on how we can help uh, clean up and clear up your communications. Thank you all for watching. Bye. Get in touch with us today to find out how you can advertise your products and services.